I want to talk right now about very short putts. Uh, usually within about six feet of the hole, we tend to struggle getting the golf ball into the hole in two putts, and we have a lot of three putts in the round. If we can get away from actually practicing into the hole and focus a little bit closer onto a tee peg, I'm going to use that as a target zone and measure backwards two or three times using the length of the grip so I get quite a short putt. Just offset ever so slightly come to the edge of the grip. Now this grip is one of the longer grips and a little bit heavier which is counterbalancing the putter. <clears throat> so I've got about 15 inches in length here. So I'm going to go back three maybe four tee pegs into the ground. If you're feeling really confident, you can go to five. And what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna get five puts, five balls, and we're gonna go from the short tee peg first. What I see a lot of people do when they do practice their putting, is they just bring the golf ball in practice without really thinking. On the really short ones it's comfortable and easy to hit the tee peg but if we can get into the habit of doing exactly what we would do out on the golf course and lining the golf ball up and then getting set every time it's a little bit more time consuming but it's allowing your brain to register the same movements that you would do out on the golf course. And the whole purpose to our practice is to make us comfortable and then more relaxed when we are out on the golf course. And if we've got a competition or tournament, it gets us into a more relaxed state when we practice. We do all five from the first tee peg we can move back to the second tee peg. Carry on doing the same drill. Line it up, step in, and aim for the tee peg. If you hit it, you carry on. Eventually, you'll get to a point hoping I don't do it now, but eventually you'll get to a point where you miss the tee peg. When you do, be really critical on yourself, either start with the first five balls from where you've just missed and carry on from that tee peg until you get five in a row and continue to move back. If you want to be really harsh on yourself, move back to the very first tee peg and start again. The whole purpose of doing this though, is that we are narrowing our target zone. We're aiming for something that's only about a quarter of an inch wide at best. We can do that from maybe three, four and a half or five feet away from the hole. Eventually we then get comfortable when we're close to the hole and we're in a situation here. All I've got to do is I've got to imagine there's a tee peg sticking in the back of the hole. And now if I line it up, all I've got to try and do now is aim to hit the tee peg. It makes my focus more narrow and instead of looking at the edges of the hole and trying to hit the tee peg, I'm more likely to hit my short putts into the hole. It's going to reduce my three putt amounts and make it more consistent into two putts. And if I hit it really close with my approach shot, I got a really good chance of making the birdie putt.